All right, so here's all you're gonna need to do spark plug change, really easy tune-up on your wave waiter. 3 8 ratchet, an extension, and a universal socket. This one here is Fifteen, fifteen sixteenths. This one here is fifteen sixteenths. Then, of course, for the wave raider, that's the spark plug number. These are about three dollars each at AutoZone. The gap is between twenty and twenty-four hundredths, and we'll show you how to do that real quick. This is a coin feeler gauge. I've been using these for years. So as I said, the gap is going to be between 20 and 24. So you just slide a small part in, and then slide it right down, and it should fit snugly at 24. All right, if you notice, right here is your spark plugs. One, two, three. And what you want to do, always remember, is eye protection and gloves. You take your boot and you just kind of wiggle it, and it pops off nice and easy. Let's do one at a time so we don't forget where the wires go. Put your socket on and your ratchet. Twist that guy out till it's finger. Once it's finger tight, then you can take it out. And take a close look at that plug. I would say it's probably definitely time to change it. So we got a brand new plug going in. And once again, you're gonna do this finger tight until it stops. Then you take your ratchet, push it on. You turn it approximately a quarter turn. That's it. A lot of these engine heads are made out of aluminum, so they strip easy. So that's why you gotta have a good feel. All right, let's work on the next one. Okay, I'm just gonna pop it off the top so I got a little bit more leeway. All right, let's take this one out. Okay, there's how she looks. It's actually not too terrible. You're gonna see a little bit of that oil because the oil and the fuel are mixed together. This is a two-stroke. But the new Sparky's gap at the proper gap is gonna make a big difference in the way she runs. This engine actually ran pretty good. I noticed a little bit of a popping and it was just so slight. And that's why I decided, well, as with all my engines, everything that I have that's carbureted, I change the spark plugs and the fuel filter once per season. And when you put that top on, you wanna keep your thumb here and press until it clicks. And then, of course, you're going to put the wire back in its holder so it doesn't short out. Now we're going to do the last one, just a nice, easy twist back and forth. A little bit of gentle pressure upwards, and she comes. We'll get down there, get this last plug out. It's a good trick, too, that I want to teach you. It's called snapping. This ensures you get the plug out without having problems like uh, the top breaking off or the thread stripping. You give it a snap like that. That's the proper way to loosen up a spark plug. Then you go a few cranks and then of course pull off your tool and finish by hand. When you finish by hand you have less chance of dropping that dirty ugly plug inside the engine. Let's go with the brand new one.
All right, finger tight all the way down to the bottom. Put our ratchet on there and socket. Give it that little snug and that one quarter turn. We'll put that wire back in. Push on the top and wiggle it and you'll feel it click down. And then of course put the wire back in the cradle. Basically that's it. Basically, you're ready to go out there in the water now and not get stuck. Thanks for watching everybody. Hope you enjoyed it. Please leave me a comment. Give me a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel.